Hello everyone, welcome to Triple T Thursday. That stands for Tips, Tricks, Talktorials. And this is the very first Triple T Thursday of the brand new year. So that's exciting stuff. I'm very excited to have you here along the journey and all of that goodness. Okay, so one, if you're out there, first of all, sorry for being late. We're, we're having some issues, okay? We're just, just having some issues. I would love to know, um, one, first of all, what's in your cup? Two, did you make any New Year's resolutions? What did you do for New Year's? Tell me all the things because um, I'm curious and I would like to know. Next, okay. Y'all, this is going to be weird, but I really want to pose this question to you. Okay, so the question is, is it better to try and fail or plan and never execute? Because both of them come with their own little downfalls. And um, we're going to talk about both real quick. So I want to have this chat with you because what I think is so interesting, we're going to talk about this, is um, cowboy boots. <laughs> I know that's not at all what you were thinking I was going to go with that, is it? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's talk. Let's chat. Let's, let, let's have a little chitty chat. Okay. So y'all know I'm on a dance team, right? And we're in the process of um, about to go through auditions. They'll actually technically happen at the end of this month, but we're in like audition season and all of that stuff. So we wear cowboy boots. And so all of a sudden, you know, we have a whole bunch of girls that are interested in cowboy boots. And as such, my brain was like, you know, it'd be really fun, you know, because sometimes we have to have little sparkles on our cowboy boots. And I'm like, I want to get some cowboy boots and just really go to it. Right. And did I have a plan? No, absolutely not. Um, did I have like this goal in mind of something in my head? Yes. And I want to show you what I had in mind, and then how it all went south and sideways, okay? Because I need, not designed by committee, because we know that that never works, but I just want you to feel some of the thought process, where we're going with this, okay? Where we're driving this bus. Pixel Pia, great to see you, and I knew you'd have the right answer as a teacher, okay? Pop quiz for everyone else, though. We're going to have a chat about it. So I want to show you all, I'm going to give you the inspiration behind, um, I got this idea in my head, right? I was like, I am going to cling these, like bling these cowboy boots, okay? Because I saw some and I fell in love with them and they were like 1,800 doll hairs. And I was just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> first of all, no. Um, who can, who can afford that first of all? And then I was like, oh, but maybe it's um, because now I'm also realizing how much time and effort it takes, okay? So let me... Oh, shoot. Are they saved to my computer? Let me just find out real quick. Let me see if they're saved to my computer. Hello, hello, Images by Gretchen. Hello, Connie. How are you? Um, and, and if you're here, one, let me know what's in your cup. Two, let me know. Do you think it's better to try and fail or just have no plan and, or have the best plan ever and not execute? <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're going to chat about this, but I'm coming to you from, or I'm going to try and wrap this all up in a pretty bow with rhinestones. So yeah, that's where we're going with this. Let me see if I have the pictures on my computer, if I have to airdrop them to my computer. I thought I downloaded them. Let me see if I downloaded, downloaded instead of my desktop. Let me just make sure. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure I downloaded them. So I'm sure they're here. Give me one second. Let me find them. Let me find them. Hello, Dutch Can Jam. Great to see you. Okay. What did I call them? I called them is that what I called them? Let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. <sighs> Man, I got too excited. I got too excited. Where is, where is it? Okay. I know I downloaded these suckers. And could I just airdrop it to myself? Yes, yes, I could. But am I gonna? No. I am now determined to find it on my computer. I am determined. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put that on the desktop. Yes. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, screw it. I will just airdrop them to myself. I'm sorry. We're going someplace on this train, people. You don't need all the pictures, but you'll get the idea. Excellent. Here we come. Okay. So. Long story longer than it needed to be. Saw these boots. I fell in love with them. Can't afford them. Thought I would try and DIY them myself. Okay? Boom. 
These are the boots, okay? Let me just zoom in on these suckers here, okay? These boots are all blinged out. These are black boots, okay? But are these not beautiful? They're so pretty. Now, a, a few things to note. You can see like on the toe, it has like this really pretty design, but it has like multiple rows of these rhinestones, right? Really, really pretty. Really pretty. Now, um, that being said, I bought some boots, right? As we do, we buy some boots. And I decided that I was going to bling out my boots. So I got a whole bunch of supplies. And let's see here. Now I have 171 designs on Redbubble. I've seen you even, okay, so here's, you're failing in that you have no sales yet. However, I've seen you now create three different maybe four or four different videos about how to set up a Redbubble shop, is Redbubble right for you, how to create a listing. So even if you aren't necessarily making sales, you've created a whole bunch of content out of your Redbubble content as well, right? So you're also doing what I have yet to do, and we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. If you want to share yours, feel free. Um, and so you also got content out of it, right? I have not, okay, we're going to get there. We're going to get there, okay. Savage Scientist, good to see you. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Do you, one, do you have a New Year's resolution? Two, do you think it's better to uh, make the perfect plan and never execute it or just try, fail, ugly, and get better? Um, feel free to leave your answer down below. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. This, you guys don't even know how long. Okay, first of all, you know that the gray thing behind me has always had the TV behind it. And they're like blackout curtains, right? But I always knew that the, the light coming off of like the reflector was given really bad glare and I, all that stuff. So I always had the sheet over it because I also don't have anything like hooked up to it. And so it was just whatever. Matthew Payne, how are you? Great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. And so I decided that I was going to try and figure out how to get the TV connected to the internet because even though it's an older TV, it does still have some of the Samsung integrated stuff. So I don't have like a separate Apple TV or anything like hooked up to it. So it's just from the internal. But there's no remote for this TV. I don't know where it is. It just poof doesn't exist. It just grew legs and just got out of town. And so... There happened to be one other <laughs> TV downstairs that is, a um, that is a Samsung. So I would go downstairs and I would steal it just so I could turn it on. And then it has like a little knob on the back that you can kind of toggle to go through some of the menus. But then I couldn't do anything like sign in. To, you know, it, it was a disaster. So finally, I found this um, antiquated remote. And it turns out um, it has like these learn functions. Okay, they don't even make this thing anymore. Okay. And it just happened to be in a pile of stuff that we were going to maybe donate or electronics recycle. Georgia Tech, hello. All the, everyone's coming in to say hi. Hi, good to see you. And so I had to go onto YouTube and one, try and figure out this thing that's like 15 years old, if I could still get it to learn. And um, long story long is that some things work. So now I, I can do up, down, left, right, enter, backwards, and volume and the TV power. So, I mean, that's it though. Out of all these buttons, those are the only ones that I can do. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. When you stop trying to learn, right? That's that's the fail. Okay, so for reference, we've got the, um, I'll, I'll show you another angle of these. What? Oh, Pixel Tia. One of us. One of us, one of us. I know you're already one of us, though. <laughs> I know it is like a. Do you guys remember way back in the day that I had like a Harmony remote? You guys remember the Harmony remotes? They don't. I don't even think they make those anymore. And it used to be like you could program two, three things at a time. And like I think this was like a version of that without any like pretty LCD thing happening. So it was a real bitch and a half to try and program just those six buttons. But um. At least I can turn the TV on and off. I haven't figured out, though. I was like, oh, I'll find a video and I'll play it. I have no idea what it will play after this. I just tried to find a video that was, like, an hour long. Because I can't, like, go to the channel and load up a playlist or, like, play it. So I was just randomly, like, trying to find a video on my channel. Anyways, I have said nothing of 
value this entire live stream so far, but we're going someplace. The train is going someplace. All right. So these are the boots, um, right? We've seen the boots and boom again. Here are like the different designs. Obviously you rhinestone them up. Can't afford $1,800 boots. There we go. Those are the boots. So I bought some boots. Okay. I bought you guys, this set me down a rabbit hole, a spiral of um, downward descent that you would not believe. Do you know how many types of glue there are and how many are good for leather, synthetic leather, suede, plastics, for nails, like all of this stuff. And I'm like, there's E6000 and B7000 and Gemtac and Aileen's and, 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 and all this different stuff, right? And so like, I'm going down the rabbit, and, and at some point, and it's it's like this when you're also, I think, trying to make a YouTube channel. Oh, look at me trying to tie a bow on it and bring it all back. Is some people are really good at going down a rabbit hole and doing some research, and then either getting so frustrated or so confused that they just never take action, right? That whole analysis paralysis thing, they just get confused, they get overwhelmed, and they don't pick a lane. Then there are other people who sometimes pick a lane and then are like, you know, this lane over here looks pretty good too. So maybe let's, you know, instead of digging one hole, we've talked about this at, in going 20 feet deep, I dig 20 holes that are all one foot deep because I just got to taste it all. I got to try it all. I want to see what part of, okay. So that's what happened and how like the Amazon man is like, I'm sure like What? are you doing? Because all, all, you, all I do is drop stuff here um, all day long. So like, what did I do? I bought like variety packs. I bought uh, this. I bought three different types of glue, y'all, because I don't know what type of glue is going to be best for this. Could I have asked other people? Sure, probably could have. Did I actually watch some YouTube videos and get frustrated that I couldn't find what I was looking for? Also, yes. That being said, I decided, okay, buckle up. We're finally just going to make a decision. We're just going to have to try this. We're going to We've tried, and um, we're going to, shit's going to have to happen. So something's going to have to happen. You know, and I feel like it's that, um, have you heard that Lauren Michaels quote where it's like Saturday Night Live? The show doesn't go on because, like, it's ready. It goes on because it's, like, midnight, right? And, and I feel like it was, like, it was go time. It was go time. Sometimes you just got to say this is the right choice with all the information I have right now at my fingertips, and we're just going to go. We're going to go. So first of all, if you're working on your cowboy boots or just maybe you don't want your boots to fall over, a pool noodle cut in half could be one of your best friends to make sure your boots don't fall over. But also you want to have some like flexion tension, right? And these are like newer boots, so they're already a little bit stiffer, which is fine. But um, just so you know, pool noodles, that will help. So I decided that, okay, we're, we're jumping the gun here, this story. This, oh, oh, I have a picture I can show you. Give me a second. Give me a second. I have a different picture, and I know this one's on here. <laughs> so you saw the inspiration of where we were going. And then, um, let's see here. I want to show you where is the... I want to show you what I did. I think if I do this, it may or may not have volume. So let me drop this video on real quick. the boots. That's where we're going with that. There we go. Boom. Okay. So that's the boot. Oh, I already gave you a sneak peek. So then today I had an existential crisis. Like, what do I do? What do I do? 
story of my life. But okay, so this part of the boot is all delicate, and this is actually two different sizes of, uh, sizes of rhinestones. And if you actually want to see what that looks like, I have a time lapse of it up on TikTok and Instagram, and I'm like, this is what two and a half hours looks like for one top of one boot. Today was a little bit less. I, I spent two hours on the other side, but the point is, I was like, ooh, it looks good, right? I thought of a plan. I executed said plan. It took longer than I thought it would, and... Um, right? I have something kind of decent. Then I decided as a completionist does, well, my plan was always to maybe do the rest of the boot. And here's what happened. So I decided that I have, there's two more sizes. This is a good example. So you've got teeny tiny ones and then you've got big ones, right? And so they go in varying sizes from four, six, eight, 10, 16, 20. Okay. <laughs> oh, your last early start. Oh, Sorry, you have to work at 6 a.m. <laughs> okay, so you have all of these different sizes. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I decided that this stitching over here, I could either do two skinnier ones um, or maybe I could do like one thick one or something like that. And, and this is actually not the biggest size there is. But I started looking at it and I did one side. And this just, I still smell the glue, first of all. The window's open, so if you hear extra road noise, um, yeah. Then I had a crisis of whatever, because as soon as you step back and look at the whole thing, you're like, have I just created like a mess, or is it just an incomplete masterpiece? And y'all know me, because I will literally be like, I'm about to rip all of them off and start down a new path of like maybe two rows of skinny ones instead. And so I texted a friend. I was like, did I, did I just make a big oopsie? Did it like, are these... Is it too thick next to too thin? And like, should I go back? And I'm like, I don't know, what should I do? And she had some very good advice. She's like, well, you could leave it on and then you could do what you were thinking on the other side and then like compare. And then you could rip off the one that you don't like. And I was like, oh, or I could just, you know, bitch and cry and moan and um, complain about it. <laughs> I don't know. So then I asked my husband and bless his heart, y'all. He literally looked at me like I wasn't crazy and that I had very real and valid concerns and I wasn't just coming to him with like my boots aren't blingy enough or are they no he he was like okay I, I can see what you're saying yes this looks different it's different sizing but you know maybe so bless him bless him for this and he's like I don't know if you think you're going to take it off and put on the skinnier stones and it's going to look any better or is it even worth the effort? Maybe you just soldier on and do the rest because my intention, my intention is we're going to, we're doing, we're doing all of the stitching. And so I'm like, oh, I've got, I got, I got plans. I got plans. And this is representative of us who get so caught in the weeds of this is your analytics. This is your, what other people are saying about your YouTube channel. This is when you think you have better ideas about what kind of content you want to make, right? And this is so much more than a boot, y'all. Um, this is, this is a life lesson. And so I was like, you're right. You know, I could freak out, start all over and still only have half of a side of half of a boot done, or I can take the other uh, girl's advice and just try it again with some other stuff on the other side and then kind of make a decision or I can just go full balls to the wall and finish it out and then decide at the end like it's so far away you're not going to even know if it was one row or two rows right and so I just wanted to relay this to you because this is me in a nutshell or my YouTube channel in a nutshell because there is like it's a good foundation already. What we're trying to do is set dressing, bedazzle, and like attraction of other viewers, of other whatever, okay? And it's all here. And it's all in how you choose to execute your plan or abandon your plan or roll with the punches and modify your plan. And then it really got me thinking, would it have been better to have no plan at all and just see what happens? Or is it better to think through every single detail and then second guess and then be like I just don't know man that also being said what do you think of my boots what do you think of my boots y'all you can let me know so this is a project that will probably end up taking me you know six years because it's painstaking so I would really love to hear from you do you find yourself in a period where 
you think you have a plan and you're executing it and you have blind faith and you're like, we're going to get all the way to the finish line and we're going to get where we want? Or are you in this phase where you're like, I did a little something, maybe I'm satisfied, maybe I'm not sure if I want to keep going or, oh, what's this and it's shiny and this didn't end like I thought it was going to and let me just change everything. That's the big question. And I will say that I I do believe, now Pixel Pia was just saying that maybe she was considering only a failure if she stopped learning and if she stopped growing. And for me, I kind of have to agree with her because like I've learned a lot of things already about what you should or should not do, what you should or shouldn't use. (laughs) And I feel like this is equivalent of me and my YouTube channel when I've talked to you guys so much about like, I've tried this, I failed in this many ways, I've done all of these different types of things that other people um, probably wouldn't do. They'd probably be like, this is fine as is, let's soldier forward or, um, you know, or I'm just going to pay for the expensive boots um, so I can get exactly what I want with the result that I want and I don't have to sit there and work hard. Not work hard, but you know what I mean, because you have to work hard to get the money to, to also do it. But there are people out there who are willing to pay the money um, because they see the shiny thing that they want and they're willing to pay the money. Then there's people who are willing to get to where they want um, and, and they're willing to put in you know, the blood, sweat, tears, equity, to get there, even if they can't financially or don't want to because they don't see the value yet um, of giving money or throwing money at that problem. And so it's, like I said, it's very similar to YouTube. There are some people who maybe they see the shiny thing, they want the shiny thing, they can afford the shiny thing. And so maybe that's someone who is um, buying a lot of YouTube courses, buying um, coaching and consulting, buying, you know, the thing that is going to promise to get you to where you want to be. And then there are the people who are like, let me figure it out. Let me let me try a few things, right? And then there are people who are like, mm, that's a great idea. Oh, good shake, buddy. But they never buy the boots to start with. Or they never buy the jewels. Or they never get the glue. Or they never, um, you know, give it a shot. Or they're not willing to put some jewels on and then tear them off and start over. I think I've shown you all that I'm willing to... <laughs> try lots of jewels on so um you think that you like the boots yeah i'm just gonna sit here and hold them right i I like the boots too right put it out there with the little plan course correct along the way and the thing is something like this right where i'm like oh no it's a big ugly it's a big like i don't think that looks right it doesn't look right in comparison what am i doing i'm comparing to this delicate little lacing thing here at the very top right i was like oh i had this little thing this is me with my iMovie course I'm like, oh, it's having some success. Uh, it took a little while, and um, yeah, there's some bumps in the roads, but like, oh, look at that. It's nice. And then it was like, well, here's all this other stuff I want to do, and now it's it's in the mix, and I'm like, oh, it looks ugly in comparison, right? Like, oh, I'm not getting the views that I used to get on my iMovie stuff, or oh, no one's responding, or not li- they're not liking the stuff that I'm putting out now. So it's like, should I go back to just this? Sh- if I just had this, though, is it like incom- I am incomplete because it's just such a small little part of me, right? I am a whole boot. I'm a whole ass boot, people. And iMovie is just this little thing here. And I call this my Texas Longhorns. And this is my subscribe button. That's how people knew me and iMovie tutorials. But I'm like, here's talking about YouTube shorts. Or here's on this side. This is this is going to be me talking about video editing. And way up here is going to be the things that explode my channel that I just don't even know yet that I haven't actually implemented. And over here is maybe Amazon, you know, live streaming and whatever else. Speaking of Am- speaking of Amazon live streaming, um, I called it a boot blinging session. And I was completing this while I was live streaming just off my phone and pointing it down. So I started last night and I did a live stream and I was trying to play Creator Mix, my playlist from Creator Mix, um, and which is available by the way on Spotify or Apple Music, go find the playlist. And um, I thought it would be like a relaxing boot blinging session just to have people watch. I got booted off of (laughs) Amazon. Booted? Oh my god, wait. (laughs) That was really good. That was was really good. I crack myself 
up. Um, I got booted off of Amazon because they said that I was streaming pre-recorded content. They thought I was just doing pre-recorded content. Of, and I was like, I'm here. I'm doing this live. Um, so I had to restart. And then I had to keep talking. Being like, I'm here. I'm really doing this. I'm sorry it can't be relaxing and just music for you, but I already got booted. So I finished that last night, and then I went live again this morning, and then they ended my live stream because they said I was having technical difficulty. And I'm like, I'm not having technical difficulty. <laughs> but anyways, um, I was feeling quite accomplished that at least um, on one boot, it took two and a half hours, and then today when I did it, this took two hours, so I was able to shave off some time. I learned a few things, right? And again, this is like... I've learned some stuff, but sometimes you only learn things by doing things. Otherwise, it's theoretical, right? I think this glue is better. I think you should put the cap on in between because it dries out. I think you should do these things, but you don't know until you actually try it. That's what I'm saying. So thank you, Pixelpia. You like that it's different. And my, my husband, bless his heart, he did really try to make me feel better. He's like, you know, honey, like, if you were to take these off, because I was, I, was I was texting my friend, I'm like, the glue's set and quick. I don't know what to do. Should I, like, scrape them off now? If I scrape this off, and then you're like, well, one, you're going to have the residue from the glue. Maybe it's going to take off the leather um, kind of finish. And even if you put on skinnier stones, you may still see this embroidery, and I don't know if you like that look either. And he's like, and when you do all the rest of this, are you really going to even, like, notice it was a tiny, like, millimeter smaller? Is it worth the effort? And I'm like, I don't know, because this already took me a few hours. So I was thinking about that, and I was just like, wow, how long does it take most of us to get into our head, right? And we're just focused on maybe all of these details that don't really matter, you know? And this is oh, what time of day should I really publish? Or what is this like happening over here that like I really, you know, oh, it doesn't matter if I put the tags in or something like that. And, and it really, it's just got to be like, you're just going to have to like publish some videos and you know what I mean? So that's really, that's the moral of the boot. And that's as far as I've gotten y'all. But to be fair, I completed another top and this little thing over here. But I was saying, bless his heart. My husband was like, right? You may not even get the result that you're looking for. It may still look funny. So you might as well just like finish it. And then, and I was also like, you can see the quality of like the glass is maybe different between this one and this one. And so like, is it going to just really, and he's like, I don't think anyone's going to be looking at your feet that closely. So, and I was like, touche, good point. So that's where I'm at with all of this. I was feeling kind of confident in, in thinking I had done something when I had just done these little tops. And then all of this stuff came in. I tried something new and then I just lost it. I lost any of my confidence and I couldn't even decide if I was making the right decision or not. And so then I phoned a friend and brought in some outside opinions and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And sometimes you just got to power through anyway. That's the whole story. Moral of the story, sometimes you just got to power through anyway, you know, build your wings on the way down. Hi. Oh, hello. I did it. I caught a Pokemon, guys. I caught a Pokemon. Oh, wait. Oh, hi. Hi, Grumpy. Oh, goodness. By the way, guys, did I tell you all? I know. So, Mr. Cooper was going to have dental I guess you'd call it dental surgery on Wednesday and so I got up super early so we could take him to the vet and we were driving we we're in the car on the way to the vet and then the vet calls us and says the person who does the surgery just called out and your next available appointment isn't until the end of January and I'm like are you serious like I'm so bummed because they were gonna, they're trying to take out one of his, they said it's a loose tooth that might be causing him pain and that if they um, can remove it, then maybe he also will have more energy. They said sometimes they get more energy and sometimes then there aren't, they're not as grumpy and um, maybe they're not in as much pain, obviously. So look at my grumpy man. Look at how handsome you are. 
You are so handsome. By the way, if you guys haven't seen it, I put out a, a TikTok where, you know that trend where it's like, you pay us $10,000 or we'll leak your camera roll. Oh. And I was like, it, it's really just pictures of, of my dogs. It's just a million pictures of my dogs. So I was like, they're so cute. You should pay me. But what is this? You have a bump on your leg? What is this? We're going to have to investigate that. Um, but also, I'd love to know, did you guys have any New Year's resolutions? And Dave, I saw, you know, I love that you have your calendar thing. I was thinking about this. I should have just bought that um, so I could actually see all the cool pictures and stuff. What do you have on you, buddy? What is that? Do you have something stuck on you? Yes, we're going to investigate that. But, um, oh, I love you so much. Hi. I can't believe he's letting me, like, actually hang out with him. Hi. Hi. New Year's resolutions. Do you have any? I want to share mine with you. So, mine, I was saying this to my accountability group on Tuesday. My New Year's resolution is actually not... Like last year we were talking about a word or intention or something like that. This year it's actually a number. And so you start, you may or may not start seeing me um, start posting the number 100 a lot. So 100. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, I, I, I call him Darth Doggy a lot of the time because sometimes he just starts like breathing really heavy. I'm sorry, I'm not talking about you. No, it's someone else. Um, so my word and intentionality <laughs> this year is the number 100. So to actually make 100 um, VODs or video on demand, so actual videos, not just live streams. So we're doing that. I want you guys to be able to see him. He's so cute. So we want to make 100 videos, or I want to. And um, I want to hit 100,000, whether it's on, you know, TikTok or YouTube. I prefer to be on YouTube, right? But I want... Oh my god. And this is the year um, we're going to make $100,000. So. And it's going to buy so many greenies. It's going to buy so many greenies for you, buddy. You're just going to have to live forever. I have determined that. You're just going to have to live forever. I will do whatever it takes. Okay, so. I would love to know, though, if you have a word or intention or goal for this year and um, if you want to share it with the class. So that's mine. It's really about 100s this year for me. And also the last part of that is being 100% more like, I think you all know that I already am, but just a little bit more, 100% more like authentic in me and um, just yeah just keeping it 100 we're just you know remember when that big phrase was going around I don't know if you guys were around for that when a lot of drama getting was going down they were there was one person who kind of got famous for saying like I'm just keeping it 100 and that <coughs> That's me this year. We're keeping it 100. We're, we're hitting 100s across the board in lots of different categories. And so... You're the cutest thing I've ever seen. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen, okay? Oh, my God. Oh. So, you don't really do New Year's resolutions, but your plan is not to start as many new projects. You know, you and me both. And instead focus on what I already have started. Yeah. And I think that can be a really good thing, too, because you and I are both like we want to try it. We want to taste it, want to see. We want to be able to teach and bring back to others what we've um, experienced. But sometimes it's to our own. I mean, it's great to taste the berries and everything. But sometimes like you have to really concentrate on a few things and then bring in other things later. You know, you really have to focus. And it's not like. You can't do those things ever. It's just you can't do them right now if what you're trying to get is to your main goal, you know? I'm still trying to get whatever that is. It's either something stuck to you or it's like something growing out of you. I don't know which one it is, but your little noises make me feel like it. I'm 
maybe something growing out of you that I'm touching. Okay, I'll work on it. Um, I cannot believe you. You're being so cuddly. Okay. Dutch Can Jam says, my goal for the start of the new year is to get back into the workforce and do YouTube on the side. Are you happy about going back or are you not? So is the sad face that you have to... Because you know what? I was considering the same. I'm still considering the same. And I was thinking, you know, if it's making 100000 and it's going back to the workforce full time and doing YouTube on the side, there is nothing wrong with that. No one is a failure for doing that. Like no one could begrudge you that because truthfully, truthfully, I put out more videos when I was working full time just because I was so much more regimented and better about my time and dividing it to what I needed to do and calendar blocking and making sure that I was hitting the different um, video upload dates like I was so much more productive when I was actually working full-time or more prolific on YouTube than let's say um, my one-year anniversary has just passed of being full-time you know or not working and I don't have I don't have a ton to show for it in this last year like I don't have a ton of like video on demands. I just have some live streams mainly and some shorts. And a bunch of those shorts were only because I was part of that um, shorts challenge from YouTube. So really like that. And then the addition of, I guess I could say I put out 600 videos on Amazon because technically I've been on Amazon now for a year as well. So I was also kind of considering maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to go back to the workforce and just are you mad at me because I keep trying to touch your bum whatever's growing out of your bum um it could be could be could be don't worry we're not going to show any of your bits yeah we're going to start an only pause just to pay for gas money um <laughs> yeah we're going to have to start an only pause with my dark doggy so I'd love to know if the sad face is because you're sad, if you think that it's like some sort of defeat or failure in some part, because I really, I don't think so. And I feel like um, the money helps grant us the financial security that we need to pay our bills and do what we need to do. And, and it's, I think, okay also that like some of us don't aspire to only make a living off of YouTube. I think y'all know, like I make so very little off of YouTube that like, um, I couldn't, well, I couldn't if I actually had to, you know, pay bills and a mortgage and stuff and have it be reliant on the income that I make from YouTube, like, I, I could live nowhere. I could live nowhere because I don't make, you know, YouTube pays $100 a month, basically. I'm making, like, so very little. I make what I made, like, when I first hit, you know, a thousand subscribers I don't even know how long ago four or five years ago and what's funny is I was talking remember on Twitter and I was saying like hey I hit 40,000 by January 31st of last year I'm still trying to hit 40,000 again from this last year so for the last 365 days so not only have I not hit the same goal that I hit last year and I make no money y'all so it's like I don't begrudge anyone um, for for deciding that they don't want to be full-time YouTubers. They want to do YouTube on the side or they want to have it still be a fun side thing. They still want to do it because they're actually enjoying it or, you know, they don't need and rely on that money for their bills because sometimes when you have to pay your bills with that and you get a little bit desperate because you get a little bit, like, in that money mindset of, like, oh, scarcity and more is not coming, you start to make decisions. All of a sudden you make sponsorship agreements with companies you actually don't like or you know you do different stuff like that and so having a normal nine to five that pays most of your bills where you can then afford literally to be like I don't want to take your sponsorship versus I want to be able to pay rent this month you know so hey my friend Zach Talks Tech I saw that you're going live tonight very very soon right to uh, with the creator um, of Hive is that right that's tonight very soon so we'll definitely get off here soon so that we can go over to your live stream and check that out. You can say hi to Mr. Cooper. Mr. Coop. 
Zach's here. Loki's probably with him. You can see why we call him Darth Doggy. So, um, so it's 50-50. I don't think it's defeat. I enjoyed working on YouTube this past year. Yeah. And the thing is, you probably learned a shit ton, right? About different things, different avenues. You probably learned how to do that digital, you know, calendar. And I'm proud of you for putting that up. I'm proud of you for, you know, really like trying something new with the new channel. And like sometimes it's the, you know, it's the new direction or it's the new whatever. I posted a video on my Shelly Shops Online channel, which was just random about um, the Pixel 6a versus the Pixel 7. Just a couple of quick little bits of, on it, you guys. It has almost like 3.7 thousand views on it. I can't even get 3.7 thousand views on this channel. Like sometimes I have a video that hasn't even had 100 views from several months ago. Hey, Marga. How did the rest of your shorts miss with the, the challenge go for it with the, the videos? I saw you. Um, yeah, you're doing your live stream soon. So and I was like, geez, maybe I should talk about tech more. <laughs> but like, um, you know, I think it's... I love you. I wish you liked me just a little bit more. Um, can, I, can I pick you up a little higher, though? Mister? Don't worry, I'll still hide your pee-pee. Nobody gets to see that. Um, where were we? Mm. More women in tech. I know that there was a uh, there was a different thread that you saw that Mark had retweeted quote retweeted because some other guy was like, "Oh, look at all these users in tech," and it was like thirty dudes. <laughs> Not a single female or something. It's like, I wish there were more females. And I was like, Ugh. and there were some people that had responded underneath. And they're like, oh, I don't have the stomach for it. And I'm like, yeah, working twice as hard for half the respect and like three times as like many hate comments. Like, I don't blame you. Like, it sucks sometimes being a woman talking about that stuff. And even the little video that I did, which was just kind of factual, like this one has this size battery, this one has this, this one has reverse wireless charging, this one doesn't. I still had guys mansplaining to me, like, if you can't even activate the reverse wireless, and I'm like, I wasn't trying to show. I'm only having it on here so that I can have it in the copyright ID system for um, for Amazon so that other people don't steal my video. Wasn't actually expecting people to view it, you know? So color me surprised when I get almost 4,000 views on a video that, like, on that channel, and I was like, oh, man. So, um, I've embraced being a hobbyist and I don't think there's anything wrong with being a hobbyist. Now I'm starting to be like, I mean, we've talked about the, for the last year, I don't make any money on YouTube. So why am I continuously trying to always be like, you know, I try and, and preach like, don't put all your money in YouTube. Don't put all your trust in YouTube. Try and be on other platforms, right? Like I made so much more off Amazon than I did off of YouTube or any other form of income. And so. I just, um, I am that boot, y'all. I am the boot. So, Zach, you missed it, but we talked a whole bunch about basically cowboy boots and how this cowboy boot represents my YouTube channel and journey. So, there's that. <laughs> it really was a beautiful analogy, okay? I tried my very best to tie it all in together, okay? The PP will get the views. I know, right? I did actually have a funny little, um, there was a TikTok sound, you know, it says, we're going to have to start selling pictures of your feet. And it worked perfectly because, oh my gosh, sometimes my, my dogs are like paid actors, I tell you. So I did that one and Cooper kind of like put out his little paw as we were walking on the trail. And then the other one was like, um, is Casey, she's laying on her dog donut. And I was like, I don't think you understand. It was like for a pit bull sound, but it was like, I'm a drink filtered water, nap three times a day, get belly scratches type of dog or something like that. And as I'm playing the sound, because it wasn't just a cute video that I played that like just fit the music. Like I was playing it and she was like hearing this and then she was like, yeah, rub my belly. And I was like, okay, well, first of all, okay, I will. And um, second of all, are you like a paid actor? <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> so... Um, you're working on your new set, mansplaining. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Boots. Boots. <laughs> so, yeah, I always try and share with you guys and gals other ways to make money because I just, 
I totally embrace maybe being a, a part-time or a hobbyist on YouTube, and I think that's fine. And I think, I don't even think I'm probably that far behind you, possibly going back to a day job, doing YouTube on the side, being a lot more strategic with my calendar, putting out more content, just having the chips fall where they may, and having a little more, like, confidence or just, um, you know, having a little bit more, like, relief in, like, where is the money coming from? Because today in a Facebook group, there was also a whole bunch of people that um, in the Amazon Influencer Program that just had their accounts shut down for whatever reason. And these are people who were like making tons of money on Amazon. So I started looking at my email. I'm like, did they email me today too? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they did. And I'm like, God, if that's how I make the most of my money right now, what if that goes away? I'm like, and anything could go away at any time, right? And Pixelpia, to answer your question, first of all, my website went down. It was a lifetime deal through AppSumo, and I purchased it, did a WordPress site, all this stuff. It just, remember they got hacked a few months ago. My site was down. I had to rebuild it um, after I got ported over to new servers. And then, like, someone messaged me and said hey my email to you bounced and I'm like what and I'm like okay let me look and then I went home and I looked and it had broken my email it had um my website wasn't working and um maybe like the Facebook group where people were posting about what bad service it was happening or like the site was going down um they were like yeah I don't know like everything stopped working I think the company went out of business no like the tickets are coming back unanswered or refused or all this different stuff so I think they just went out of business you can't get a hold of anyone <laughs> I was like are you effing kidding me no I was not effing kidding you so I spent several days trying to rebuild my website again <laughs> we will rebuild and um the only thing I could kind of go off of was I went to Wayback Machine and I at least saw what the front page looked like and then I tried to rebuild it and then tried to piece together the little pieces and I tried to, um, you know, I tried to rebuild my website and I just, I'm so mad because I'd go out and buy and spend extra money on a new hosting site, a new WordPress um, install, a new, you know, redoing all the plugins, everything. And it's just like, I don't want to have to go back and re redo stuff that I've already done because I would rather make more mistakes with all these other shiny objects that I've already come to accumulate and want to, to go after, right? Like, I don't want to redo other stuff. <laughs> but I did it, and I sat and bitched and moaned about it. But um, at least my email's working again. At least the website is somewhat functional again. And if you go now and visit it, it looks probably ex it looks exactly the damn same as it used to. At least it's there. Um but yeah, I was feeling really defeated, really, really defeated because I'm just like, do I even try and rebuild a website? Like, what's the effing point? No one was visiting it. I wasn't getting any new um, customers or, uh, you know, new clients. I'm like, no one's going to care if I don't have a website. So maybe, but it was like, no, just put your big girl pants on and just effing do it. You know what I mean? And sometimes you have to just, um, come up with a plan and you have to execute and, and sometimes it comes up with a shitty plan you got to execute that and then you got to build your wings on the way down and find out some new plan you know and sometimes the plan gets chosen for you sometimes the choices <laughs> other people make affect your choices and um, accelerate you down one path or another I know I know I know so yeah the rivet website god weren't they great? I saw that tweet and I was like, yeah, that broke my heart too. Um, because they were my main website that I was just hosting, you know, a lot of my YouTube channel and I didn't have to do anything. It was non-touch. And then that's originally when I found that AppSumo deal or whatever. And oh, I was just bummed. So sometimes it's just as important to find ways to make yourself smile and bring those smiles to others. Um, and, fi and I finally realized that's all I really want with my channel. I love that. See, and through everything, you're finding purpose and you're finding all the things that you really want and that are important to you, right? So one of the things I'm also doing is like, I've talked about before how in a cluttered space, like I just, my mind gets so distracted because I'm like, oh, look at this project and oh, look at this. Or oh, I just feel cramped in and claustrophobic. So I have been starting to post some stuff in like for sale or I'm starting to post some stuff like um, 
to give away. And so like I have a computer that I'm not really using. And so I listed it for sale. And actually one of the girls on one of the dance teams is going to um, pick that up. And I'm like, great. And I'm going to have this money for, I don't know, taxes or for whatever else I need, more cowboy boots, more bling. Um, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, good. They're going to get use out of it. I'm going to like, like have less stuff here which is great. And I was thinking about all of the stuff that I had. And, th and then I get distracted. I'm like, I should just sell everything on eBay. And that's a whole other thing in business in itself. But I'm like, I really do feel like, um, you know, I was going through my makeup collection. And so I feel like as I do stuff, I, I film it just so I can do it. So I was, I was blinging out my boots, made a video. And, you know, I was cleaning out the makeup collection and I was making a video. And I was just like, it just feels better when you have sometimes less stuff, maybe more stuff that's of higher quality and so now I finally understand like that capsule wardrobe type of phenomenon where you you have fewer pieces and you're not overwhelmed when you get to your closet and you know that anything you wear is gonna fit correctly and look good and um you know be more sustainable and so I'm trying to be more intentional and that's part of like this next year is I think I'm not gonna care if someone says I've seen you wear that t-shirt before I'm like yeah probably 60 times. Um, or, you know, maybe I only wear black t-shirts for the rest of the year. I don't know. You know, it's like some people have a, have the right thought. And because some of those things just don't have, uh, the wherewithal for me to care that much about anymore. So I have a date with your closet to clean out the life this weekend, including tech. Yeah. And I talked about that a few weeks ago, right? Like selling off your tech. If you're someone who really wants a new camera, a new phone, a new whatever, I bet you a lot of the time you can raise money or some of the money that you need from the existing stuff that we have in our house. If we get rid of some of the stuff and reduce the clutter in our house or just actually learn to use the things that we have, sometimes we get so excited about <laughs> everything that's new, we just forget to use the stuff that we have. And um, yeah, it's like, why are we holding on to stuff? I was talking to a good friend of mine about how we're not saving the good really good expensive skincare anymore for a special occasion because then you don't use it you open it up and it's gone bad you know because it has expiration dates or FS efficacy levels that will go down after expiration dates expire so it's like why were you you know using this cheaper stuff and saving this other stuff for good occasions it's like every day that we're alive or whatever and when then you want to you do your skincare or you want to you know, do the shower or whatever else it is, that is a special occasion. That is a special day because we're not necessarily guaranteed any day. You know, you look at what happened to DeMar, like, in Monday Night Football and just, like, he's a 24-year-old kid playing football in the NFL. He gets up and then all of a sudden he falls backwards. They're doing CPR on him, taking him to the hospital, and, like, just in an instant, you know? And so why are we saving our expensive skincare for a good day why are we not wanting to use the good body shower lotion <laughs> like you know why are we not buying the shoes well I guess in that regard buy the ones that are all blinged out <laughs> um you know why are you not buying the things that make you happy or using the things that you have to like make you happy so I'm all for it like I said this year the intentional hi I love you um, the whole, the whole word, the whole mantra, everything, it's, it's 100. If it's not serving the purpose, if it's not, you know, that's it. That's, this is the year, man, of so many 100s. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little life lesson analogy, checking out my boots. If you want to check in on the progress every once in a while, just ask me. I would be more than happy to show you my boots. <laughs> more than happy. Um, Yes, I do love you so much. And your belly. And, by the way, I've decided that they have to wear these little um, harnesses now because they said that the little collars around the necks on tiny little puppies um, leads to more trachea, like, uh, collapses and whatever. And I'm like, I don't know. Did I cause some of the Darth Doggying with his old collars? I don't know. So now he wears the harnesses. They wear harnesses now. But, um, yeah. Thank you so much for listening to my rambling. This isn't exactly what I was going to talk about tonight. We were going to finish out the year-end um, money report, but we will just do that one next week. And I swear to goodness, we're actually going to do it. And we have an entire half a year to do. So that's going to be a long live stream probably. So just put your big guy or big girl pants on and just be prepared. Clear your calendar. Next week, we're doing the whole 
pretty much, I don't know what, last six months of the year <laughs> for revenue. And yes, I love you. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do next week. And if there's other videos, we're saying goodbye. Cooper is saying goodbye. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing next week, right? No more save this till. Yeah. What's the best place to sell microphones? Um, so for buying MacBooks, I was actually going to sell mine and just actually turn it into Apple and get a gift card and maybe like put some money towards something else later. But then turned out, I just, I did a post and I, and I posted it for a hundred dollars more than the Apple trade in basically was going to give me. I'm like, this is a good deal. This is actually a screaming deal. And then within like 10 minutes, I got a text from someone. So I was like, you know, it's just meant to be. Because I don't need to just return it to Apple when someone else, um, they said they asked for Christmas, they didn't get it, they're good enough for them dang sales, but they're um, getting themselves a good deal, right? So um, that one I just sold on, well, Facebook, I just made a post on Facebook, and it, uh, I guess, yes, you're so handsome, I love you so much. And so I did that, and honestly, I've sold um, other things, some other boots and microphones, and I think I have a computer monitor for sale locally. So I've given away some stuff and just used Facebook. So, but some places used to take microphones um, in store. Like you could go to like almost a guitar center or other place. They would buy your used gear or like a camera place. But when the pandemic and everything started, they stopped taking microphones and things that are of that nature because of um, COVID and particulates, I guess, that could possibly come from. Hi. Yes, I can't believe what a good boy you've been. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. So he says, subscribe to my only pause and you might see the pee pee. So mom can afford gas. Thank you. All right. All right. So we're gonna go. And um, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you all next Thursday. And please let me know if you have um, particular videos also that you wanna see. We will make them because I gotta make 100 this year, which is supposed to be two a week, which technically it's the first week of January and so I should have already put out one and then I'll need another one so <laughs> there's that I'm already behind schedule but we're gonna do it all right everyone have a great night I will talk to you later